but from defence, we feel to forward, no communication. Oh, Okay, my name is Matthew Alton, and I'm from. Um, yeah, I've got a deaf family, and I they speak as well as sign. So my name is Ryland Casey, and I'm from Blackpool. And my family is deaf, so we sign all the time, same as well. My name's Harry Borman. Um, I'm from Leicester, and I've only got one or two people in the staff of my family. My name's Dylan Cross. I'm from Blackburn, and all everyone in my family is hearing. Okay, my name is Abdu, and I'm from London, and my family are hearing. My name is Tommy, and I'm from Milton Keynes, and my family are hearing. And my name is Byron, and Byron Downs, and I'm from Essex and my family are here in. So my name is Ryan Lewis and uh, I'm from uh, North West, Preston. Uh, my family, uh, they're all here in and I'm the only person that's deaf in my family from birth. So my name is Ben Lampert and I'm from London and all of my family are here in and I'm the only person that's deaf in my family. My name is Oliver Monksfield and I'm from London as well and my family are all hearing. I'm the only deaf person in my family. Uh, my father was well, I'm from the deaf community so I was involved in deaf sports of so GB swimming uh, for about four or five years competitively and then all over the world and then I stopped that and because my passion was football so I changed my focus to football and then obviously I'm here I'm been successful be selected for England so really I started with um, hearing teams from my father who brought me up playing football when I was about 15 I started to be involved in deaf football and then basically I'm here today so because I was in GB and then I was in the England team straight afterwards so okay for me being a part of deaf football was always interesting I haven't come from a mainstream world um, and never knowing that deaf football or even the deaf world was existent around my life so being a part of deaf football is Okay, so it was always my dream to be in the England Deaf football team, so I feel really, really proud when I'm playing for them. I feel really motivated, it makes me feel like it's, you know, my family's proud. Okay, so from a young uh, player, I was playing football quite young and also playing futsal. And I was in a hearing plus a deaf team as well, and hearing and deaf environment for many, many years. And I've got lots of barriers that I have been involved with here in environment that I've had. And uh, now, obviously, I'm within the England squad, so I'm head coach. And before that, I was involved as a coach with the uh, hearing environments or hearing teams. And there were barriers there because I didn't always have interpreters, so I had to have interpreters with me all the time to make sure I had communication access. Um, and we have obviously a squad here that's various different types of uh, communication methods, what they prefer. So, for example, there's SSE, BSL, uh, speaking, um, all various, and we have to adapt and make sure that we match up and meet all the needs of these languages. With we can do it.